Hey everybody, welcome back. It's me, Greg, the Free American Spirit. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about some unique circumstances or little problems that I'm having with my Grow Watt solar system. Now, these apply to my situation. Yours could be different, but I really would appreciate your feedback on these problems. And one is dealing with the dryer, and the second one is dealing with the auto transformer. Okay, so hey, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, leave comments like I asked you to, and if you really love me, use those links because they bring you videos like this, and this ain't cheap, okay? So let's get into it. What we got going on here, and I apologize, the fans are on. Right now, my system is up. It's charging my battery, okay? And it's also because last night I was on battery power, and I'll show you how I switched that. But anyways, it's charging the battery, and my amp is about 15 amps going to the trailer. So the first problem I have is the dryer. Before, if I put my dryer on, and let's just watch how this goes, if I put my dryer on, right, and put that on while this is running, you'll get the air coat. See, it's coming up there. It's overloading. So we're just going to turn the dryer off. So what I found out was after calling tech support is basically I would need two grow watts to run this dryer independently by itself. All right. Um, what that would require is more AC panels. Okay. If I wanted to keep off of the grid or I would have to use electric from the pole to help supplement it. I really didn't want to use electric from the pole and I really didn't want to do that. But right now, buying another inverter and more panels just isn't in the cards, you know, because I'm not made out of money. So then I thought to myself, well, I'll hook up AC power. So I wanted, to, I didn't want to hook up AC power and I wasn't using it before. I was just, instead of using that plug there for the dryer that I made for future, I was just running the extension cord excuse me extension cord out the window and hooking it to the pole so i thought well i'll go ahead and what happened there the fans just went off let's see here let's look at that no nope, we still got 15 amps of the water heater in there anywho back to this so i ran the ac from the pole directly in here which is 50 amps now the problem has if i buy another inverter i would have to do the same thing because you have to have the same electric going to each inverter that's just a side note. So getting back to this, if I thought I was running this through like a bypass, I thought, and here's where I need your comments, that when if I turn the dryer on, it would just go, <clears throat> you know, and bypass this, and it would just use it off that, and the inverter and whatever would just go to the house. Well, it's not that smart. It doesn't doesn't work that way. So like I said, if you put this on and you put the dryer on, there's the code, so let's turn it off. So then I thought, well, I'm really not going to spend all this money. How do I get around it? You know, and I decided, hey, let's see if we turn the inverter off. If I turn the inverter off, what happens? Now, right now, my wife is running the hot water heater in there. You can see 15 amps is going. So if I turn this inverter off, now it's in line mode. Okay, we're still getting 121 going to trailer. She's pulling 14 amps. I don't know what the difference is, why it dropped an amp. So right down here, I switched to this line mode, okay? And that's exactly what it's doing. If you look at this right here, so now I can run my dryer. And I don't get any error codes. Now, I haven't done a couple of loads on this, but I've let it run 10, 15 minutes, and it's not really pulling anything up. And you can see the trailer's still pulling 15 amps through here, all right? But the dryer's only coming through this box, not coming through the trailer box. And so this is only registering what's coming through that circuit. So that takes care of the dryer for now. <clears throat> Eventually, I will put the second thing on there. So let's turn the dryer back off now. Okay, it's running smooth. See now the, the fans went off too. 
it's not drawing because it's not going through the inverter pulling all that heat so let's turn the dryer off let's put the inverter back on and you'll see it reconfigure and now it's going you know line and the solar is coming up through and it's charging the batteries so this is line mode if you look back over to these settings over here I put it in solar first utility second batteries last last night I had it in solar batteries utility last okay and what happened was like during the night since I only have two batteries but we were using a lot of stuff we used the crock pot we used the TV you know and I'm up until 1 in the morning whatever and I had the air conditioner on because it was a really warm day yesterday and rainy so it was all cloudy I didn't get much charging you know the batteries went down like by half all right so that's why it's topping off on charging a little bit so I switched it to solar utility batteries which it uses batteries last when none of these are available all right and you can see right now it's charging batteries and it's using the solar to power the house as well and charging the battery and it's using a little bit of electric for the house i guess why the battery's charging and once they stop that'll stop but so that's what this was because now it's in line mode when i did the sub and that's exactly what it looks like right at the minutes this one right here it's actually not this one it's this one here right in line mode so that's the first problem the next problem is my unique situation and tell me if I'm wrong when you use these transformers everybody tells you to balance your loads well the problem I have is this 30 amp breaker powers everything in the trailer it's a single pole 30 amp breaker powers everything in the trailer so the only way I could balance this out is to literally go to the trailer disconnect you know the wire going into the box there and then run separate lines like a separate line to my air conditioner and then leave the rest in the box plugged in the trailer then I could have like a 20 amp breaker here and another 20 amp whatever to run the air conditioner separate so that's not gonna happen that's a lot of wiring and I'm not messing with the trailer Okay, I want to leave it just the way it is because it comes through the surge protector. It tells me any errors that there's none and you know I'm not going to go jerking around with the wiring in the trailer itself. It's just not going to happen. So people have talked about having a second transformer. Now this transformer, you know, you're supposed to run 25 amps. I believe it's through there in maximum 28. So when I'm running the trailer and my wife turns on, you know, the microwave and the air conditioner, you know you see this thing going between 28 to 32 amps it didn't trip anything but it will i mean you leave them on long enough it's going to trip it and this was getting really really warm so i've got another one of these orders i'm going to hook that up i'm going to put it on this side where i have this extra 30 amp breaker here okay which is off right now which i plan to do anyways and then we'll see you know i'll run the test and see you know, I'll run just this and have the wipe turn the the uh, everything on in there, the microwave, the air conditioner, whatever. And you can see how many amps it's pulling. And then I'll flip the other one on and we'll see if, in fact, that it shares the load. And now the two transformers, you know, only carry like 15 amps each or whatever. So let me know in the comments what you think of that idea. I think that's the way to go. The other alternative is, like I said, is back to what I originally really would like to do. Is get rid of the AC completely but then I've got to put another inverter I've got to put more panels I got to buy more batteries I mean I already want to buy one more battery anyways so that I'll have three but I would have to buy you know two or three more batteries that's you know another 4,500 bucks for the batteries another 899 or whatever it is for the inverter you know and it's like it just starts adding up more wiring yada 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 you get the idea so we're trying to keep this cost effective. So let me know, guys. Thumbs up for liking the video. Subscribe. That little bell icon. Use those links. They help raise money so you get videos like this. Later, Gators.